Video ads have a new section in display advertising. This is the first time I've ever gotten access to this. I just got special beta invite access and all of you are gonna soon have access to this. So you're gonna be able to watch me today as I build this for the very first time and we're gonna build out a video ad under sponsored display. Never has this been available before. You had to do video ads in sponsored brands but never has it been accessible in display before. So I'm gonna hit continue on display ad. And here's a new section that is available for the very first time, a video ad format. Uh, and so if you don't have access to this yet, you may not even see this carousel available because typically speaking in the past, you'd have to use an image to begin with. So we're gonna build out a campaign from scratch. I got a video ready to go and we're gonna do my macho soaps video display, and I'm gonna put this in all caps just because it's, you know, it's a new thing, it's cool. So I'm gonna throw a $50 per day budget on this. I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not, who knows, but I'm getting beta access, so maybe this thing will just take off, who knows? So I'm gonna hit video just like that, and then I'm gonna to go to Macho in the product search here. I'm gonna hit add, and I'm gonna choose, all right, so you can't do contextual targeting with video ad, you have to do audience. And we're gonna optimize, can't optimize for reach. So it looks like we got two options here, optimizing for page visits or optimizing for conversions. And I don't know which is gonna be better. This is a CPC model. This is a CPC model as well. Don't have access to a CPM model. So, you know, I uh, kind of want conversions more than page visits. So we'll go, we'll go, we'll go for conversions, see what that does for us. So we have audience types in here and different types of audiences we can hit. We can do views remarketing. I definitely wanna add that. That's already added. You can see these are default added. Similar to advertised products, purchase remarketing, both of those are activated. Similar uh, and view views remarketing advertised product, look back window of 30 days. You can change the look back window though to even greater than that and go 90 days. I think I would be interested in that. Views remarketing, probably not the similar, to, maybe, I don't know, similar to advertised product, we'll try it. Uh, bath soaps, wow, that's expensive, look at that. I wanna do just men's soaps if I can. Uh, if we go back to the audiences, purchase remarketing, look back window 90, oh, you can go 365, advertised product, we'll try that. Related to advertised product, we'll try that. Uh, you can see on the right what these bids are going to look like. I'm going to pull some of these bids backwards because I'm always a little suspicious of video ads. Uh, they don't necessarily have the best ACOS when it comes to display. Well, okay, let me, let me walk that back. Display ads don't have a great track record, but video ads do. So now the question is, will a video ad do well in the display category? I have no idea. This is the first time for everything. We have no idea what's going to happen. So I'm gonna switch some of these bids and lower them down just cause I really don't really know what to expect. Uh, I could probably get away with a super low bid, maybe 0.03 on the look back window being gigantic like this. And who knows what to expect from it. Uh, but look back window is who am I able to target essentially? Just people that looked at my product in 30 days ago or 365 days ago. People who bought a product before that's similar 30 days ago or 365 days as I've kind of selected here. So these could all have very different results. So if we go uh, back to audiences, uh, we got purchase remarketing, views remarketing, audience, uh, Amazon audiences. Can we hit men? Is that a, is that a target? Uh, lifestyle men's undergarments. Would somebody who's buying men's undergarments buy men's soap? I don't know. Let's find out. So we'll put a we'll put a bid on that at 0.103 because we have no idea what to expect there. Uh, we've typed in men. What else? What other men's thing? Boxing clothing. Hmm. Interesting. Skiing clothing. Uh, we got lots of different options in here. Men's boxers. So we did undergarments. Sure, we'll try men's boxers. Why not? Dress shirts. In market, sure, we'll try that one. Uh, grooming, that looks like a pretty good option. Cologne, somebody likes cologne, might like some artisan soaps here. Uh, and I haven't even shown my product yet. Let me show you what I'm advertising. So this is one of my better sellers right now, this macho soap. Uh, and we've got different variations for women, men, fruity, whatever, galactic, masculine. But this box, for whatever reason, people really like it. Might be the charcoal and it might be the cool water. That's kind of my theory, but don't know. Hard to tell for sure suspenders 
track suits, probably not track suits, right? You're wearing a track suit, probably don't use artisan soap. Uh, probably just offended the entire country of Russia right there. Uh, let's go down the list. Track jackets, hunting shoes, running shoes, pullover, a lot of men's categories. All right, let's try, let's try uh, men soap. Is that is that a category? Can we use that? Dish soap? Probably not. Uh, soap making scents? Mm, not sure on that. Bath soaps, but this is going to be expensive. Let's see what let's see what the rate is on it. Yeah, three forty four. Wait, that's the views you're marketing. Let's pull that down. Buck fifty five. Try and go on the lower end when you're doing something new for the first time. No uh, automatic bids on some of this stuff. So I'm going to just go like three cents higher than what the next guy is probably going to go, right? Because they might leave the defaults at $1. That's kind of a nice little hack when testing out some beta stuff. Just go a tiny bit higher than what you think everybody else is going to do, right? This this is going to be a probably too many targeting, to be totally honest. I'm probably going too heavy. But I just don't know what to expect. Handmade men's fashion. Somebody like handmade men's fashion, that's got to be a good one. Where did that end up on the list right there? All right, we'll change that to point one oh three. See what that looks like. Is there anything else interesting on this list? Cologne, bathrobes, swim trunks, track jackets, athletic. Really difficult to narrow this down. Big and tall. Khaki pants. All right, probably good enough. So now the question is, is how does uh, video ad work for this? I'm not really clear. So up here, I selected the video. Uh, I'm not seeing an ability to select an upload for the video, which is kind of confusing. You'd think that I would have access to load a video on a video ad. Uh, let's just click some buttons, see if we can figure this out. So do we want the logo included? Probably not. Headline. This is like the normal display ad. So what am I missing here? Should have had some access to be able to do that. Let's click headline off, click headline on. Yeah, I'm pretty confused by this. Uh, where do I load the video? Confirm your creative. I don't even see like anything related to, okay, here, okay, there's something, maybe I missed, oh, okay. I don't know why I missed that, guys, here we go. I like shooting videos raw like this because then you can see me figure stuff out and you probably have the same things that kind of like you go through. All right, so I click the video button right there uh, and I hit the load video and it gives you some criteria of what can and can't be done on a video ad. Let's see. Oh no. Video dimensions need to be 1920 by 1080 or larger. And unfortunately mine was 1280 by 720. So I'm going to have to do some video editing before I can hit this nice little launch button. But following that, I wonder if the video replaces, uh, the logo and all the other stuff. In any case, here's the video that I want to load, and I'm going to hit play at, a, at the middle of my video because I'm going to reshoot this, and I'm going to start the video here. And we'll lower down the volume just a tiny bit. But essentially what I wanted to do, I wanted to start the video ad on a moving shot like this to get people's attention. Then I'm going to go to the very front of this where we show, hey, this comes in a nice little package. You can see the variety. like You can see all the flavors. We'll skip this part when we come back, but that's what I'm going to start the video on. And then all natural ingredients, you can see how it could be made. This is B-roll footage, obviously. But you showcase all this, and then cold press artisan soap for men. That's the idea. So I'm going to get that video ad up. I'll shoot an update video, let you know how it goes. With all things new, you never know what's going to happen with beta testing, but I literally got access to this today. I've uh, been talking to the... Uh, display team over at Amazon, uh, and they were gracious enough to give us a little sneak peek on what this could look like. And then off screen, I've got access to this PDF that came directly from their team. It's got like this nice stamp confidential on it, but they shared it with me knowing I was going to make this video. So I think it's okay for me to share some of this stuff. Uh, but just to be careful, I'm not going to show the PDF, but essentially it's a closed beta, which means you can't get access. They're going to test this out. This will probably hit in, in the middle of Q4 and everybody's gonna rush and jump on this. Um, why sponsored video creative? It says to showcase your products and brand in action. Shoppers use video to get information faster and learn more about products. We all know that, so that's not really new information, but it's a new video format to showcase your products and brand through immersive storytelling. So they're looking for tutorials, demos, unboxing, testimonials, and you can build awareness for that. 
access video dedicated inventory off of Amazon. So this is one of the first times you can get access to video uh, coverage, video ads off of the Amazon platform, dedicated placements on the Amazon publisher service websites, uh, access to 60% of Comscore's top 250 web domains. I have no idea if that matters. Pair with sponsored display capabilities, so you can leverage common underlying technology. Video Creative offers flexibility to pair with existing sponsored display features, creating new ways to reach audiences. A lot of fluff in this PDF, so I'll keep going down. Prospect interested audiences, showcase your product and brand in action to interested audiences off Amazon. All right, so here's the key features. Deliver video creatives to show the product, access video dedicated inventory off Amazon prospect, interested audiences via Amazon audiences. I think this is the first time video and audiences are interacting with each other. Uh, same billing method, CPC, continue to utilize in-stock awareness. So, so after reading this PDF here and kind of browsing through, uh, this is a great case example of how just testing it out, you pretty much get all the information just by going through the motions. You don't need to read an Amazon release to figure it out. All of the things I just read off, we already figured out in nine minutes on the fly, just playing around with it. Uh, they do have some FAQs. Where will my video creative show? This is an important one. I actually didn't know how this would go down. Videos will show on video dedicated placements on Amazon publisher service websites and apps and other third-party websites and apps. So pretty much everywhere. Amazon publisher services has direct relationships with publishers, premium content at scale. Where will my video, what will my video ad look like? You can see a, a mock-up example. Uh, we kind of showed that on the screen. What is the viewer experience? Video ads will autoplay on loop. They'll be muted. They can unmute them if they so choose. So I think music or, or talking head would be advised, but it's not technically critical. Uh, sponsored video display ad. This will matter to you guys over in Europe. Yes, it's coming. Is going to come in uh, US, Canada, Mexico. B R D E E S F R I T N L U K U A E. Those are the country codes that's going to come available in. How different is Amazon DSP online video? Their acronym is O L V. You'll have access to the same off page placements offered by DSP. Interesting. Interesting. So you're going to have the same DSP access. Yet another reason why you don't need to sign up for DSP and just test things in Seller Central first before you have to spend thousands of dollars on DSP. I think this is a benefit to smaller Amazon sellers. That's a big win. Uh, how is this different from sponsored brands video or streaming TV? Sponsored brands video serves on Amazon streaming TV service on TV contexts like Amazon Freebie, Amazon Fire TV News, Fubo TV, I don't know if anybody's ever used that, and Roku. Sponsored display will get you expanded access to reach programmatic display solutions made available by Amazon Publisher Service. Okay, they're kind of repeating themselves. Ad Group Creative, you'll have that. Creative Creation. Okay, so here are the specs, and I think we had access to this when we were trying to load this on my side. So let's pull this back up on my screen here. Uh, change video. So you got aspect ratio 169, dimensions 1920 by 1080, codec 500 megabytes, file format. You can see that there. Length six to 45 seconds. I think 20 seconds is a really good target personally. Video stream one only. Audio spec must match the ad locale uh, and some other information that's pretty technical. So stereo or mono will work. No big deal there. Uh, other things on this release kind of just shows a little bit of additional specs and tech, pretty much everything you saw on screen there. Uh, same reportings available, troubleshooting. I'm running into an unexpected issue. How can I get my issue resolved? As the feature is still in beta, you may encounter unexpected issues. Please reach out to your Amazon contact with description of the issue, which none of you will have. So that's not helpful. So you're on your own. You're on your own, guys. So check out video sponsored display ads. Get some coverage from that. Test out some ad spend. I'm jumping on this right now. Unfortunately, I got to find a video editor to work on my video, which doesn't fit the format. So I'll be making a few of these campaigns, and then I will report back what success I have. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. 
hit that subscribe button and check out our PPC course over at mag-school.com.